Hi guys, Righteous Raymond here. Quote of the day. It is not your job to look for love. It is your job to cooperate with God as he helps you resolve the issues and blocks that prevent love from happening in your life. Let that sink in. Let me say that again. It's not your job to look for love. Especially women. It is your job to op, to cooperate with to cooperate with God as he helps you resolve the issues and blocks that prevent love from happening in your life. The problem is not that there is no one for you. It's not the issue. It's usually a mental or emotional issue that keeps people from you and that keeps you from having successful relationships. From having successful relationships. So you all, sometimes we think that things are acquired from us going to get it. We feel like if I see something I like, I'm at point A, it's at point B, I'll just go over there and just get it. As simple as that. I just need to look around. Oh, look, we'll get it. There are some things in life that are like that. Some things in life, it is a matter of seeing and using your limbs, your activity to go over there and to attain and procure, if you're whatever word you want to use, get, possess what you want. But then there are some things you all like relationships where I have learned that it's not a matter of just seeing and attaining. Sometimes, because another person has a wheel. Now, relationships, they have, people have wheels. So, objects like, I'm going to go get a candy bar at the store when I get off this video. I have the money, I have the means, I have the vehicle, I have the legs, I have the, the debit card, I have the, the cash, the cash in my card. I'm going to go up to the candy aisle, get the candy, go to the counter, pay for the candy, eat the candy. Simple. But candy don't have no wheel. <laughs> Everything in this store is for sale. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to other people, people have wheels as well. And God is not going to override their wheel that you can just have them. You cannot possess people like you possess objects, okay? So when it comes to wanting to be in a relationship, this is what I have learned. It's not a matter of you just going down saying, I want them to get that. Because you can go and obtain o-b-t-a-i-n you can go attain a-t-t-a a-t-t-a-i-n but can you maintain can you sustain can you retain can you entertain will it remain that's the question okay so when it comes to other people which is relationship you cannot just go get a person that's called kidnapping that's called um that's called kidnapping okay you, it's just illegal in america and in most countries. Um, so if you want a person in your life, you may get the person that you want, but God can work on your flaws, work on your issues, work on your tendencies, your idiosyncrasies, your quirks, your perspective issues, your points of view that are wrong, your wrong ideologies, um, that will block a person from being attracted to you. So I'll say that. Sometimes... This one on opposite, on opposite sex, if you're heterosexual, there's somebody of the opposite sex that's single and wants a relationship just like you do. The only thing is, sometimes, especially if you've been single for a long time or all your life, you are so stuck in your own way that you don't know how to be with another person. You know how to be by yourself. You know, how, I, got, I live alone, so I go home, I have my little routine. Everything is how I left it this morning. You know, everything is how, how I want it. But that's one thing to, to, to have your own life on your own. But can I dance with another person? So think of relationships like a dance, like a, like a, a, like a, I went salsa dancing, you know, a few, a uh, few weeks ago. Um, and it is a way you have to be with another person. Now dance by, dance by yourself. You just dance how you want. You be off beat, off rhythm, whatever, by yourself, flailing your arms wildly. Um, but when you're dancing with another person, it calls different skills and you it calls different size you it calls different um you gotta have a, you gotta have a rhythm you gotta have a pace you gotta have a you gotta have a small movement you can't do everything you want to do when you're in a relationship with somebody so sometimes the issues why we're still single why why you're still single you don't know if i'm single or not um <laughs> the reason why you are we are still single is because we gotta learn how to be with another person we know how to be alone we know how to be super successful alone we know how to be super charming, funny, well-dressed, good workers, clean your house well, alone, maintain our money alone. But do we know how to be 
with another person. We can dance alone, but can we hold the hand, the man turn you around, spin you around, dip you down, lean back, go forward, step, step. Can you dance with another person? And not just for a minute, not just for a night. Can you dance? Can you cha-cha-cha? Can you uh, mamba? Can you salsa with another person for the next 60 years? We can dance with a person for a night. Can I live with you? Can I vacation with you? Can I worship with you? Can I raise children with you? Can I go? Can I have? Can I go to holidays with you, and not be absolutely miserable because I'm so used to my own way? So sometimes, like I said, it's not your job to look for love. It is your job to cooperate with God as He helps you resolve the issues and blocks to prevent love from happening in your life. So with me, for example, again, I'll be 40 next year. I've been single, and by single, I mean I've been unmarried, never been engaged my whole life. Okay, I've had boyfriends, I've dated extensively, but I've never had a fiance or a husband, right? And so God was showing me, like, man, Missy, you very particular. Missy, you very, miss you very particular. I'm very particular. I'm going to tell you all my particularities. But I'm very particular. And so it's like, Missy, you're going to have to tweak that. You can't be like that because you're like that with you, with your house alone when nothing's moving. Like, me going to get in a candy bar. The candy bar has no wheel. But another man will have his own wheel, his own particularities, his own peculiarities, rather, and his particular ways. Can you mold and kind of hold back on some of your particulars while he holds on some of the, hold on, hold back to some of his particulars so I can dance together, so I can groove together. And not just dance, we're gonna mess, like look like we crazy, hitting each other in the face, tripping each other over our feet. Can we walk together skillfully on the dance floor without hurting somebody, without hurting ourselves, without making the, can, can we complete the moves of the dance? You know, there's certain steps so it's certain steps to certain dances, whatever. It's like you gotta do this first, do this first, step here two times, step here two times. You know, your the line dances, whatever. There are certain steps that have to happen, and you can't accept how you want to step in a relationship. You can st- now when, when you when you're like you were seen like a little kid dancing all wild and crazy. There's no order. There's no steps. There's no there's no there's this is nonsense with this wild dancing to the music. But when you're dancing with a person, it's always organized. It's always structured. And you want it to look good to people on the outside. Even people on the outside looking at you and be like, oh, they dance. They look so good together. When they come together, they look. They just look good. I don't know. Something about them, they just look good together. Because they learn how to navigate and operate with each other. Do, 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 do. And they know how to, like, like this. You can dance like this. Crazy and sporadic. You can dance like this with your partner. Everybody working together. Everybody looking good together. And so can you be with another person? You can be by yourself. But can you be with another person in an organized, structured, beautiful way for years? Not for a day, not for a night, for years. Can you do it? So the second part of that quote is, the problem is not that there is no one for you. It's usually a mental or emotional issue that, or a social issue that keeps people from you and that keeps you from having successful relationships. I mean, is that you? Can you... Can God tweak some things in you? Because it's like a person like really, really loud. People are really people tend to run from really loud noises. People, if you smell bad, people tend to run from really bad smells. If you look horrific, people tend to run from really horrific sights. You know what I'm saying? Like, can somebody be with you? Look at your house. Can somebody even be in your house without being anxious after 10 minutes? Can someone be in the car with you riding without them feeling like they're gonna have a car accident? Can somebody be with you for the next 60 years? Can they sign up to be with you for the next 60 years without wanting to get a divorce? That's what God may be waiting on for some of us. I'm not saying it's a case for everybody. Some people are just meant to be single. Uh, even Jesus says that about the eunuchs and everything. But some of us, you all, God said, you, miss, miss, you move well on your own. Miss, you move well on your own. He moved well on his own. Y'all move really well. Y'all been independent for so long. Can I get y'all together? Because if y'all were like this together, y'all gonna be hitting each other, knocking each other out, everything, hitting each other, hurting each other, bruising each other up, having the mix about us <laughs> charges. But can y'all move together? And so God is trying to coordinate, organize, and teach you how to move skillfully with another person for the rest of your life. Because God will use your marriage or relationship as an example to the people. Like, oh, look how well they are. I don't be like them. God may want you to be an example couple to the world and to the, you know, to the church, but you have to live well together. And so he has to work on you. So sometimes... Let's cooperate with God. Y'all cooperate with God. He'll tell you what to do. He'll tell you to tweak some things. And then before you know it, you find the love of your life. That's what I think. That's what I believe. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye.